What's up everybody? Welcome back to Guns.com. My name is Seth Rogers and today we are doing a little bit of an unboxing video for you and we're taking a look at the Beretta Model 1934. Let's go to the tabletop and take a look. The Model 1934 is actually an evolution of the Model 1915 which was the first Beretta to ever feature the cutout slide design. As you can see here, this sports some fixed sights on it and it has a 7 plus 1 capacity. It's a single action pistol. And much like the M9, the Beretta M1934 was the result of a military request for a new sidearm. Unlike the M9, the request was by the Italian government. Uh, Beretta was pitted against Walther for this contract and as a result you will see some very rare, very early trial models that have the slide safety on it. That was a request of the Italian government. That slide safety was later ditched in favor of the half cock safety, which we see right here. And the slide mounted safety, which you see right here. Eventually, Beretta won the contract in 1937, and the Italian military made a purchase of 150,000 of these pistols initially. They ended up becoming extremely popular, and over 1 million of these little pistols were manufactured over the gun's 57-year lifespan. This gun was relied on heavily by the Italian military during World War II as the official sidearm. You'll notice right here, the Marks RE. That means that this was a sidearm in the Italian military. Specifically, the Italian army used the Mark RE. And you will also notice that the gun was manufactured in 1940. After that, you'll notice Roman numerals, which add up to 18, which means that this was the 18th year of the fascist regime in Italy. This gun is six inches in total length. The barrel length is 3.7 inches. The capacity is seven rounds and it is one pound and seven ounces. Overall, just a really cool gun. You will see that this gun has lots of wear. Um, specifically up here, you can tell that it's been holstered a lot. A lot of holster wear, a lot of wear on the barrel as well. Uh, but I think that's one of the things that makes it really neat, and to me it makes it collectible. It is chambered in what the Italians call 9 corto, 9 millimeter short, or what we know as 380 ACP. This gun seems to be in perfectly working condition. You could probably take this out and fire it today if you really wanted to. Because it's a collectible, because we have it in collector's corner, I will not be doing that. I'd like to pass that on to somebody else to do. Saw some action in World War II. Still has those original Beretta grips on it. The lanyard loop down here you'll notice as well. Along with the heel magazine release. Comes with the one magazine that we have here. Also comes with the holster which is pretty neat. The holster is not original. It was made by Walds in Dallas, Texas. Uh, but you can tell that the holster has definitely had some holster wear. So somebody carried this even after World War II. Um, perhaps in Texas, that's where the holster was from. But just a really interesting gun. Really cool. If I had more money, I would definitely like to add this to my collection. A very neat and cool gun. Alright, that's the Beretta Model 1934. Certainly a cool and historical gun. If you guys are looking for your own cool and historical guns, go and check out the Guns.com Collector's Corner. There's tons of really awesome and historical guns over there. Super neat stuff. You won't want to miss it. If you like this video, please go ahead and share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have tons of great content coming out every single week and you're not going to want to miss it. Until next time, have fun on the range everyone, and stay safe out there.